All right, guys, look what I just magically found. Our sticky math for um, today. So I know you can't read the directions, but we all know, <clears throat> excuse me, that sticky math is, well, you can do it timed for two and a half minutes like we do in class. You can, again, ask grandma, grandpa, brother, sister, whoever's available to time you, or if they're not available, go ahead and answer the problems as quick as you can. All right, let's go ahead and get started with this week's, um, oh, I'm sorry, what we're learning this week in math, which is measurement. Okay, so you've been working with this all week. And let's go ahead and review. Measurement, it's about the distance between. So let's start with centimeter. Centimeter, the width of your pinky finger. All right, so let's go ahead and look at my pinky finger. Remember, I'm the little teacher. So the width of my pinky finger isn't quite a centimeter. Uh, it's pretty close though. So let's go ahead and look at this page as well. That way you can see a picture of a uh, pinky finger. A centimeter is about the same as the width of a pinky finger. Okay, so let's go ahead and move to foot. A foot is from elbow to wrist. So go ahead and look at your elbow, right here for me, to your wrist. That is just about a foot. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, look at this page, and it says a foot is about the length of a piece of paper. So a different way to measure a foot is by looking at a piece of paper and look at this arrow. It is going from top to bottom, not the way we write, but from the, um, from the long side, or using the long side, excuse me. <clears throat> so we are going to, well, one way to measure a foot, I'm sorry, is from one side to the other, the long side. All right, let's go. So next one, yard. I want you to spread your arms out like a bird and shake both of your wrists. And that is approximately what a yard is from your one wrist to the other. Okay, that was fun. Let's go ahead and look at this page. A yard is the width of a doorway. So now we know that um, a yard can either be the width of a doorway or it can be from wrist to wrist. Well, that's extremely cool that we can measure it in two different ways. All right, my dears, meter. Okay, again, let's be birds. Uh, shake your arms out. But this time I want you to wiggle your fingers like a bird. Instead of wriggling, uh, wiggling feathers, we are going to wiggle our fingers. So a meter is from fingertip to fingertip. Okay, we can also look at our other definition which says a meter is about the width of a doorway, which we already talked about with a yard, so they're pretty close. Well, they are the same. All right, last one, inch. The tip of your thumb to your first knuckle. So it would be from here to here. And again, Miss Galvan's a little teacher, so this is a little bit smaller than what an inch would actually be, but that's okay, it's pretty close. I'm gonna go ahead and look back at this one to see a real picture of a finger that's a lot more, uh, I'm sorry, that's a lot closer to an actual inch instead of my finger. All right, so an inch is the length of a thumb to the first knuckle, just like this arrow showing us. Okay, now that we have reviewed our vocabulary for this week, we're gonna go ahead and turn to my ears okay found it we're gonna turn to this page which says and I've already written my name and date which is extremely important it's April the 2nd 2020 all right let me give you a second for that cool let's go ahead and read the directions together directions read the sentences below and circle the best measurement for that item so I kind of already well you know what I don't know if I did that maybe it was one of my girls so <laughs> let's see. Number one says the height of your desk. So obviously, if we're talking about the height of your desk, we are not talking about this lady and how tall she is. We are talking about from the top of your desk, which is where we ride and read and all that fun stuff, to the bottom, which is where it is on the floor. So if we're gonna measure the height of our desk and use the best measurement, we are going to either choose inches or miles. So. Miles, that was not in our vocabulary, but I made this cool anchor chart for you. 
and I want to explain what a mile is. A mile is the length of a long stretch of road. So we know that roads are pretty long. And I can use some clue words, length and long stretch. Well, that's pretty far. So uh, let's keep that in mind. Our other, uh, oh, excuse me, our other option is inches. So I'm going to go ahead and use my anchor charts, an inch. So we already know that an inch is about the length of our, uh, of your thumb to the tip of your first, first knuckle, just like this. With that in mind, I know that the best instrument to measure this desk, especially if I did not have the correct tools, would obviously, which you already answered, I'm sure, is inches, because miles is way too long. All right, my dears, let's go to number two. Go ahead and read with me again. Two, the school's playground. So, uh, I know it's his playground, but I'm gonna go ahead and look at this picture. It's a swing set, just like we have at school. Our options to measure the swing set, which remember, we're gonna use the best measurement to measure this item, or this um, swing set, excuse me. We can either choose feet or yards. So I'm gonna go ahead again, and remember, using your anchor charts is extremely important. It is there to help you. I know that a yard is about the width of a doorway, or let's be birds, and another um, way to figure out what a yard is from is from measuring with your arms open all the way out like a bird from wrist to wrist. All right, with that information in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and think about, hmm, which you are thinking about currently. What is the best instrument to measure that item? Well, if I didn't have uh, the correct instrument, like a ruler or a yardstick, I could definitely measure it by using one of these items. So if I was measuring a foot, which I already know is approximately or just about from one side of the paper to the other, the longer side, which isn't very long, but a yard is longer because it is the length from either from a doorway or from wrist to wrist. So if I had to measure the school's swing set, I would more than likely, which I know you've already figured this out, use yards because that would um, be less time and it would be the most uh, accurate type of measurement. All right, my dears, let's go to number three, your spiral notebook. I know that everyone knows what a spiral notebook is. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Everybody has a spiral notebook. In my class, we have spirals to take notes in for math, for science and social studies, just like you do in your class. So the first thing I thought of, which I know my smart kiddos and all of second grade know that, oh, one of our options, sorry, I should have read those first. Your spiral notebook. Your choices are inches and feet. The ex first thing I noticed, or first thing I thought about was a foot, and it's the length of a piece of paper. We all know, using our schema, that there is paper in this spiral. So I automatically know that the best measurement to measure this item is in feet, which is not a foot, but this is plural. So we would say feet instead of foot. Foot would be one. Okay, so this is what I want you to do, my dears. I want you to do four, five, six, and the enrichment section on your own. I know that you can do this because you guys are great listeners and your brains are on. So now I would like to turn, or I would like you to turn to this page, which says Thursday practice week two, page two. Again, we're gonna begin by writing our names with our best handwriting. My pen is loud. Um, and the date is April the 2nd, 2020. All right, so read the directions with me. Circle the unit that would work best for measuring each object. All right, so let's look at number one. Our object here is a loaf of bread, which everybody can use their schema and figure out or remember what a loaf of bread looks like. We have a loaf of bread at home or we've seen one at the store. So our options are meters or centimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and refer again 
to my anchor chart. Okay, spread your arms out like a bird. Meter, fingertip to fingertip. Well, that's pretty long, and I definitely know that a loaf of bread is not that long. So another, our other option is centimeters, which is the width of your pinky. And remember, I'm the little teacher, so not too accurate, but pretty close. All right, so what would be the best way to measure something? Meters or centimeters? Yes, it would be, oop, it would be centimeters. And we know that because we are using our schema, what we've learned, and our brain. Great job, guys. All right, let's look at number two. Go ahead and read this with me. The length of your toe. Ooh, my first thought, which I'm pretty sure is your first thought, is when I think of a toe, I also think of a different part of my body that it looks pretty similar. My finger, just like you're thinking about your fingers. So I know from looking at my notes that, and again, my options are meters or centimeters. A centimeter is about the same width of your pinky finger. So this is about your pinky, this is about your toes. So we all know that it's gonna be centimeters and not meters, because a meter is way too long. Let's go ahead and do number three, which we can make a connection to, because it says an outside playground. Well, we can make a great connection because we just talked about a swing set on this page right here. We can make a connection to the text that we just read, to the world because we've gone to parks, or to yourself because we have one at school. So let's think about a playground. A th one thing on the playground, like we just talked about, is a swing set. So again, let's look at our options, meters or centimeters. So go ahead and be a bird again, um, spread your wings, and wiggle your fingers. Would that be the best way to measure a playground? Or would this be the best way to measure a playground? What, what would be easiest and fastest if we did not have the proper tool? Very good, it would be meters. Awesome got, job, my, guy, my dears. <laughs> All right, so this is what you're gonna do next. You are going to finish five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which you definitely can because you are amazing. All right, so I want you to finish that after my lesson, of course. So this is what we're gonna do. I looked around my, my house and I found some objects. So this cool object I found at my dad's house. And if you're in my classroom, you know that my dad is very creative and likes to stay busy. So I found one of his books. It's about making leather, which he does all the time. And it's super cool. He makes some pretty awesome stuff. So this book is called Leather Braiding. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and figure out from what I've learned, and I don't have a tool, so I'm gonna figure out a way to measure this. Would I use an inch, a yard, like a door, or a foot? So, I have a piece of paper right here. It's pretty close to what a paper looks like, right? So, I could definitely use a foot to measure this or I could use a centimeter, which would take a little bit longer. But if I use a foot, which is approximately about the size of our actual foot, I would be able to measure that pretty close. And then if I wanna actually get the correct measurement, I would use a ruler. Another object I found in my house, which is my super cool gremlins cup. All right, so let's think back to what we just talked about. A yard's long. A uh, meter seems to be too long, but let's think about a foot. Remember, a foot can be about the size of a piece of paper or it can be the size of our elbow to our wrist. Look how close that is. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure it with a, yes, a foot. All right, let's go ahead and use my super cool cat pen. Cute, right? Look, it even has a tail. Fun stuff. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and try a foot. Ooh, it's pretty close. Let's go ahead and try a centimeter. Uh, that would probably take us a little while. And then an inch. That would as well take us a little while. So the best way to measure 
my cool pen without using a proper tool would be using our elbow to our wrist. So look how awesome and easy it is to measure things and objects without the proper tools. All right, two more things. So I want you to look back at this page right here, which we haven't looked at today, but it says inches. All right, so a whistle can be an inch, so can a paper clip. And again, remember our fingernail or our finger to our first knuckle. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you one of my um, paper clips. So that's pretty close to an inch. If I had a larger paper clip, which I do, but I can't find, it would be pretty, uh, well, a lot closer. One other thing I wanna use, and to show you how I can measure something, are my super duper subtraction flashcards. All right, how would I measure this? Yards, meters, centimeters, foot, or inches. I'm gonna go ahead and look at this inches because I already have it. All right, this tells me that it's approximately four inches. So from the information we learned today and that you've been reviewing all week, we can figure out that inches would be the best way to measure that. So now I have a challenge for you. I want you to go around the house and you can use your family and see who can find the coolest and best objects, which I'm sure that you can do and measure them without a tool, but with what you have available, just like using your body parts. All right, my dears, I miss you guys and I love you and I can't wait to see y'all. Let's use our brains and knowledge and get this stuff done. Bye.